booktube it's missy and today i'm here to share with you guys my september book haul unboxing and makeup uh, I gotta put makeup in there somewhere. You know I bought lipsticks. I can't help myself. I'm always buying lipsticks. Um, so yes, this will be the only book haul for this month. I am going to be good and rein it in. I have already started making a pile on the floor. My husband finally said something uh, last weekend. He's like, hmm, the stack, the stack's getting big already. And you already have new bookshelves. Like, what are you gonna do with that stack on the floor? Oops, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm going to make myself actual furniture out of books. And then I'm going to sit on that furniture. Anyways, uh, let's get started with the makeup. So ColourPop was doing this thing where you buy two liquid lipsticks and you get one free. And they were also doing this thing where they had like 5 million subscribers or maybe it was 5,000. I believe the number five was involved. And uh, so they had all these different kinds of makeup products that you could pick for free to go along with your order. Um, there was like an eyeshadow and a lippy stick and some something else, another liquid lipstick. Anywho, so I have, I purchased two liquid lipsticks in here. I got one liquid lipstick for free and I got one lippy stick for free. So I'm super excited. Uh, so let's open this up, shall we? I just got this in the mail yesterday. So I'm totally stoked to see them. I kind of want to wear it today to work. So let's, let's go through all of them, shall we? All right. We have an ultra satin lip, an ultra matte lip, another ultra satin lip, and then of course that lippy stick. So we'll do the lippy stick first. Oops. I have a lot of the same color lipsticks. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know. Uh, but this is one of the promotional freebie lipsticks, and so it's in this dark packaging. It's not the white like normal. This color is called Fab 5, and uh, it looks kind of like a dark a dark red. Um, I have Chateau, so I wonder if it's close to that. Ooh, there is the color. It's nice and creamy. Um, and this is a, well, lippy sticks are, oh, you know what? This isn't a matte, so I think this is just going to be like a regular lipstick. I only own the matte and the matte X lippy sticks. So this will be different because it does, uh, it does smear a lot. Hmm. I, I don't like, I don't like that. I normally don't, I don't wear these kinds of lipsticks because I'm too careless with my mouth that it'll look like I was trying to eat somebody, um, during the day. Anyways, so We'll see how that works out. The next lipstick I'm going to try out is this Ultra Satin Lip. And um, Ultra Satins don't dry down as much as the mattes do. Um, so again, I'm nervous about the whole smearing. Uh, this color is a purplish and it's called Femme. Um, just uh, to let you guys know, all of the liquid lipsticks I got this time around are in the purple family. I wanted to see if this was a dupe for Scorpio from Jeffree Star because I do own that color, but it's a little bit thick and I can feel it on my lips when I wear it. Like it's not sticky, but it feels kind of heavy on my lips. And I'm wondering if it's because it's like getting dry for some reason or if it's just a thicker, consistent like thicker formula so I wanted to see if that was a dupe for Scorpio I do love my purplish uh, lipsticks and then I got this one is all at all uh, this one is also an ultra satin and this is called Hutch and this is what ooh ooh I like that one so we have Hutch here which is an eggplant there we go. An eggplant purple. Ooh, that's exciting. I love, I love purple. Purple is something that I don't mind wearing on a daily basis. I, 
You know, I'm not very into bright reds. I like dark colors, but purples are awesome. And this one is an ultra matte, so this will dry down completely. I love ColourPop. It is very, very drying, and you can it goes into every crevice in your lip, but they don't feel like anything on your lips. You don't notice you have something on your lip until about, I'd say like six hours later when your lips start to feel a little crusty, but um, you can always put on a chapstick after that. And then this one is called Kapow! Ooh, yes. All right. So Kapow is more of a mauve color. It's got like a brown undertone in there. So we have those three purples, which I'm super excited about. Uh, Kapow, Hutch, and Femme. And then I, I'm not sure about this one. Thank goodness it was free. Because I don't know if I'm going to want to wear, you know what I mean? A red. Let's see. Oh, it smells good. What do you guys think? It smells really good. It, it smells um, kind of like, like cookies a little bit. Anyways, this, this is um, Fab Five and uh, it's nice, but it will smear. And um, now it's on my lips. Now I have to wear it for the rest of the video. All right. It says, hey, love, we love you a waffle lot. Thanks, ColourPop. And just the ads and stuff. All right. So those were my lipsticks. Like I said, um, I got two of the liquid lipsticks for free. And then I got this one for free. I think the sale is still going on where you can buy two get one free. They are $6 each. I think I paid 12 something plus, you know, shipping and handling. So it was like $19 altogether, maybe even cheaper than that. I don't know. I'm excited. Uh, the next package I have here is from a subscriber. Her name is Vanessa. So thank you so much, Vanessa, for sending me this package. I'm so stinking excited. Um, I did you know, my most anticipated reads recap and wrap up. And she said that she had a book that was on my recap that is not at my library. I'm looking for my knife. And she said she had it and that she was willing to send it to me. So I'm all about that. So thank you very, very much again for sending me books all the way from Mary England. And inside we have hmm, Glimpse by Kendra uh, Layton. This is the book that I couldn't find at the library. It's very obscure. I'm sure I could have found it somewhere. But this is a paranormal ghost story that I really, really wanted to read. And now I have it in my possession. I'm so excited. Mm, and it's a standalone. And then the second book she sent me was A House at the Bottom of a Lake by Josh Mallerman. He's also the one who wrote the scary book Bird Box, which I absolutely loved. Um, this is a novella, and I've been dying to read it, and I'm so excited to own it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, Vanessa, for sending me these two books. And, of course, I will send you two books in the mail, um, hopefully on Monday. I am waiting for tomorrow because I get paid again tomorrow in my allowance account. And that way I can send you the books because that's going to be a little expensive. Um, okay, let's continue. So those are the two books I got from Vanessa. And now I have two books that I purchased from the library bookstore. I was surprised at my finds. This first one I have here is... Ill Will, a novel by Dan Chaon, Ch Chaon, Chaon, maybe it's Chaon. Um, I, I don't remember what this is about, I have to be honest. I looked it up on Goodreads when I first purchased it. I do know that this is a thriller of some sort. Um, what made me want to read this is what Celeste Ng said on the back of the book, and she said... Dan Chan's, whatever his last name is, 
new novel is subtly, steadily unnerving, like a scalpel slipping under your skin and prying it ever so slowly from the muscle beneath. Um, yes, please. I don't even know what this is, and I want to read it. And this is a 2017 release. Um, it's in absolute perfect condition. The person bought it and then gave it away. I don't understand why. It doesn't even look like it's been read. Uh, here's underneath the dust jacket. Um, kind of boring. Very boring, actually. But... Yay, another thriller. And then I also bought a sequel, and I hate doing that, but for a dollar, you gotta do that sometimes. So I got Black Blood by John Meany. This is a novel of dark suspense by the author of The Bone Song. So The Bone Song is the first book in this duology. I think it's a duology. But this is a science fiction gothic fantasy, and it's about a detective that um, needs to work for the dead. Like it made, it had like a Constantine vibe. So I picked it up and then I definitely have the Bone Song um, in the queue at the library. So I will be getting that hopefully if the book, does the bookmobile come tomorrow? I think it does. Maybe it's next week. I keep saying that. Regardless, when the bookmobile does come, I'm going to have another book haul, even though I said I wasn't going to have any more, because this isn't really a book haul. It's a library haul, and I did borrow a lot of new releases that are coming out, um, that came out last month and the month before. But The Bone Song is in that uh, pile, and I'm going to add some of those books to my October TBR, which I'm super excited about. Too long. <laughs> Getting distracted. All right, the next package I have here is a pre-order. You guys have seen this already if you watched my other two videos prior to this one. Um, I had to own the book, so I pre-ordered it. It is a September, September release. I'm so excited to see the cover in all its glory in real life. Dun, dun, dun. Look how freaking gorgeous it is. It's so pretty. So we got the, um, we got the purples. See, I love the purples. Purples and the, the darkish blues and the black and of course the crow. Amazing. This is Blackbird of the Gallows by Meg Castle. A dark, twisty thrill ride from beginning to end. Uh, I just, I just can't. This book is so, ah, uh, the whole freaking book is purple. Purple was my favorite color growing up. And then I stopped liking it in high school and switched to pink, but purples are growing on me again. I, I, I die. This is so gorgeous. All right, so that was my pre-order. Next, we have another pre-order, but this came from my husband as a gift. Um, he saw it, thought of me, and then bought it. And I was very surprised because my husband doesn't do gifts very often. Uh, he just doesn't think about that kind of stuff. And especially since we've been together for 20 years, again, he doesn't think about that kind of stuff because he's already wooed me. So it's not like he's trying to buy my love anymore. Um, but I was so excited when I got the confirmation like text message. Oh, you have a package coming. And I'm like, what package is this? And I looked it up and I'm like, he did what? I was so excited. So it's a two-parter. I had to wait for the pre-order and then I'll show you what else he got me that goes along with it. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Okay, he got me the Omnibus, the entire Omnibus collection of the Death Note. It's an all-in-one edition by Sugumi Oba and art by Takishi Obata. Um, I do know that the Death Note movie is on Netflix. I have not watched it yet. I've heard loads of people who are in love with the anime or the 
manga that the movie is trash. Um, but I want to form my own opinion, and so in order to do that, I need to read the anime, or read the manga first. I have read the first manga, and I loved it. And then I watched the first episode um, on Netflix, the anime, and I thought it was good. And, uh, God, please open up. So, um, again, I, I'm trying to get the omnibus out of the plastic packaging so we can really take a look at its gorgeousness. Okay, so here is the book. It's paperback, which is kind of a bummer, but if it was hardcover, that would have been way too heavy. So you do get the little boxy thing. Mmm, it smells so new. All right, and here it is. It's huge. It is massive. That is the entirety of the manga. It's very, ooh, I love, oh. If you read a lot of manga, you know that the most of the time when you have uh, Japanese manga, that it's in that newspaper feely uh, paper, and I hate that because I have sensitive fingertips and it starts to irritate me after a while, but this is like magazine quality paper. I love it. So nice. If you like the Death Note, you've read it cover to cover, and you've watched all of the anime, let me know down below what you like about this series and what to expect. Like I said, I have read the first one. I really enjoyed it. I, again, watched the first anime, and it was pretty much just like the, the mocha. So, Oh, now I'm not going to be able to get it back in the box. This is one of those things where I'm going to have to keep the box. I normally get rid of these boxes because they don't fit on my shelves. But because this is such a, a fat book and it's likely to bend and warp, uh, it's staying in the box for safekeeping. All right, so to go along with this, my husband so kindly bought me the pop figure. I'm so excited. And uh, I'm not a huge fan yet of Death Note. Uh, so I'm not quite sure how to say his name yet. Is it Ryuk? Ryuk? But isn't he, isn't he so cute with his little apple? He's so cute. Um, oh, I just love him. I love him. So yeah. My husband doesn't watch my videos, but thank you anyway. I really enjoy my stuff. So exciting. All right. <clears throat> this video is getting very long. The last package, of course, because I'm addicted to Book Outlet and I buy a box every month, we have a Book Outlet order. Uh, this one, there was no sales. I just bought them because I always have a cart ready to go on Book Outlet. And uh, I was up late at night. And that's what happens. If I'm up late at night and I'm running out of things to watch on YouTube, like all my subscriptions, I've watched them all, I tend to buy books. I browse and I buy books. And it's just not necessary. All right, so I had the paper there. Here's the sneak peekies. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Whew, okay. First thing in the box, I saw this a while back and I put it on my TBR on Goodreads and then I forgot all about it. And this is the Universal Harvester by John Darnell. I think it's a Darnell. Um, I haven't heard too many people talk about this book. It is extremely small. I didn't realize it was going to be so tiny. Uh, but, ooh, I love that. Look at the black on black. Um, I just, I love this cover so much. And it's about VHS tapes. I, I'm pretty sure this is a horror thriller surrounding VHS tapes. And that made me want to watch it, or watch it, <laughs> read it. So there's that one. All right, if you know anything about these books that I pull out of Book Outlet, uh, or always, always tell me what you know about these books down below. Um, 
if you've read this one though let me know down below all right the next book in the box is called father jetano's puppets catechism a novella by mike magnolia and christopher golden i really like christopher golden i have read a trilogy by him that was a japanese uh paranormal story that i absolutely loved and so i do own quite a few books by christopher golden that i haven't actually picked up yet uh story of my life but yes ooh, this has little illustrations in it i love little illustrations um i don't know anything about it it was really cheap though so i bought it uh, this was, where is it? This was $1.19. So I said, okay, I want it. Christopher Golden's name on it. I'll read it. All right, the next book in the box, I've been, oh my God, I didn't realize it was this big. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> wow, okay. So I have been dying, dying to read The Dark Days Club um, by Allison Goodman. Yes, Goodman. Okay, so... What I remember is that this is uh, Regency, and it's got, like, killers in it. Oh, Regency, romance, and dark fantasy. Mm, love it. Um, I wanted to read this because I was on a roll with um, The Parasol Protectorate uh, by Gail Carriger. I just, I love anything that has to do with the Regency time. I love the clothing and the fashion and and all of that stuff. So when this first came out a couple years ago, I wanted it so bad. And now the second one's already out and I'm just like way behind. <sighs> Look at these end pages. It's got, it's got little like skulls. What's underneath the dust jacket? Ooh, it's blue, so pretty. Yay, I'm so excited. Um, <clears throat> I think I've told you guys this before because it is free shipping now at Book Outlet. Books like this that would have normally have been like $3.99 are up to $6.99 because they're, you know, having to adjust to make the cost about the same. But I, I don't mind. I don't mind. So I bought this one for $5.39, which is still a good deal. Um, I cannot wait to read this book. The next book in the box is an iffy, iffy book, okay? We have Burning Kingdoms by Lauren DeStefano. I own Perfect Ruin. I have not picked it up yet. I absolutely despise this cover change. I can't stand it. I don't know what the porcelain statue cracking faces are on the covers for, and it might have to do with the story. I'm not sure. Again, I haven't read the stories yet but this was 89 cents and I was on the fence whether I even wanted to pick up Perfect Ruin and read it. I did read Lauren DeStefano's Chemical Garden trilogy which I really did enjoy. It was a dystopian so I'm hoping to like this as well. We will see but again it was 89 cents for the sequel so I just bought it. I just I it was under a dollar, and if I don't like Perfect Ruin, then this isn't, it's not a big deal. I'll just give it to somebody who will want it. Okay, the next book in the box is The Asylum Novellas by Madeline Rue. I was bummed that this came out in paperback, and it hasn't come out in hardcover. I have read um, most of these novellas because I purchased them on my Kindle while I was reading books one and two. There are two in here that I have not read yet, I think. I think The Bone Artists and something else. But um, now my collection is complete. I have all four books in the series, including the novellas. I'm very excited to finish the series up. I still have to read the third book. I started it, but I haven't finished it. And then, of course, the prequel, which I'm excited to um, read as well. Because it talks about Dan Crawford, the director of the asylum. So that's cool. Next, I have Yesternight by Cat Winters. This came out last year. Um, it wasn't on my radar for some reason. I don't know why. I do like Cat Winters. I talked about her. Um, in my most anticipated reads list because she's coming out with a new book 
this month called, I forgot, but it's about a mom who is a monster killer and a father that is a magician. So that sounds really cool. So I decided, you know, I needed to buy last year's story. And I have absolutely no idea what this is about. But it's got a parasol on the cover and rain. I don't know. I had to buy it. Um, this is the one I own, the Uninvited, which I do need to finish as well. I started and I haven't finished it. Story of my life. Anyways. You guys don't care. I haven't read it yet, but I love Cat Winters. <clears throat> the next book in the box is a, a graphic novel that I have seen a million times on um, YouTube, and that is The Gigantic Beard That Was Evil by Stephen Collins. It was on Book Outlet. I wanted to read it. It's just uh, black and white. What is this called? Like charcoal, maybe? And it's, it doesn't look like pen. Anywho, I'm excited. People say really good things about that book. Two more books in the box, and then we are all done. All right, the next book we have here is Jonah, book three in the Sty Clar saga. This is a demon. Is it angels? Oh, angels and vampires. Um, there's a hybrid. There's a girl who is both, I believe, and she has to choose sides, and they're, like, kind of fighting over her. But this is the third book. I think they're all done. So I do own Layla, Gabriel, and now Jonah. My collection is complete. Do I have to say that I've not read any of the books yet? Yeah. Oh, and by the way, this is... Um, it, it, it definitely wipes off, but it's matte. So it dries down matte. Um, it feels like it's not on my lips, but it will smear. It's definitely not transfer proof. Okay, the very last book I saw on Mercedes' channel, which is um, Mercy's Bookish Musings, and that is Fox Low by Eleanor Wasserberg. This cover enchanted me and then she read it and she didn't like it um but i needed this book in my life and so i bought it um again it's it's so it's so pretty it says it's an extraordinary astonishing story of a girl's longing for motherly love beautifully harrowing and powerfully haunting it is the most heartbreaking tale i have read this year so it's a coming of age story and it's haunting and I needed it because of the cover um, it's got you know the French flaps and the deckled edges and this gorgeous gorgeous cover um, let me know down below if you've read this already this is not typically the kind of book that I would read I did find this in like the horror section but I don't believe it's a horror novel so we'll see how it is once I get into it. I'm hoping it's kind of like we have always lived in the castle where it's like, you know, it's got the family, but it's also gothic and eerie. That will be great because I like those kinds of books. All right. That's it. That's that's everything that I purchased this month. All right. I was waiting for two more books and here they are. I opened them already. Um, I didn't pull them out yet, but I did pre-open them before I started filming just so I could pull them out easier since I am kind of vlogging this. Uh, as you can tell, the first one is going to be a Stephen King book. Um, like I've said in a million of my book haul videos, I am trying to collect the entire collection. So this one that I purchased was Dreamcatcher. The side is, what color is this? It's like a strawberry color, so it's kind of, it's mostly pink, but there is like a hint of red to it. I have already read this book. This is an, an uh, I don't know what I was going to say. This is an alien book about a group of friends who um, grow up together, and they're doing like one last hurrah. Um, they're going to go camping in the woods, and all hell breaks loose. There is an alien invasion. There is a kind of like an alien takeover and the b book and story gets very weird. Of course there's going to be military involved because they're trying to stop the aliens and uh, yeah I really enjoyed this book. Hated 
the movie. They changed the ending in the movie, which made absolutely no sense. That's one of my pet peeves when it comes to Stephen King movies, is they always change the ending. It's like, it's Stephen King. Why can't you just keep it the way the book has it? We all know he's weird. And then the second book that I purchased, I'm kind of disappointed by, only because I thought it was going to be small. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if I can, oh, get. I recommend don't doing that because this is dirty. Anywho, ugh. I purchased Under the Dome by Stephen King, another book I have already read. Um, I like to brag because back when I had my kids were babies, I was able to read very quickly. And this book is a monster. When it first came out, I read this entire thing in three days. I know, it's like really long and I was able to do it. I could never do it now, but I totally did it back then. This is a gorgeous book. It's all purple. And I like the little, like, you can't even tell. There's like silver where all the little lights are in the town. Um, His finest epic since the stand, I guess. This ending is very weird. And again, I wanted the small book. I don't want Stephen King's books in large books like this. So, I don't know. Does this purple cover come in the mass market? If it comes in mass market and you want to trade for a giant book, let me know down below. Because I do like the cover. I want my mass market to be the purple one. I just don't want this giant edition on my shelves. But if you haven't read this book yet, it's about a small town in Maine that gets stuck. You see the dome? That's why it's called Under the Dome. There is a glass-like dome over the town. Nobody knows where it came from. Uh, everyone's trying to get them out. And then basically it's like a survival kind of story. Like how do people interact with each other when there is no more police or authority? Like who becomes the leader and what happens after that? Do people get... Um, mad or more power based because they want to be leader too is there anarchy like what happens with the food and just what does humanity do when they're stuck in a bubble very exciting book the ending was really weird and I kind of hated the ending oh this is a Hodor book I love them I love them I just don't know if it comes in mass market. Again, if this edition, if this publishing house makes this book in mass market and you want to trade, let me know. Um, if not, I will just keep it because I do like the purple cover. I love the publishing house. Uh, it's just going to be a really big book on my shelf. And that is it. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Again, I will be doing a library book haul once I get those books from the bookmobile um, so it won't be a part two I'm just going to title it library hall so that way nobody gets confused but let me um, stack up all the books and show you again the spines because I always do Oof, this is very heavy all right oh my goodness sakes Whew. so here is all of the books all of the books that I have purchased or have gotten uh, in the month of September. And of course, this little devil here. Ryuk, right? That's how you say his name. Let me know down below if I'm saying it completely wrong. And then correct me, please. All right, that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Mine is going to be extremely busy, but hopefully a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!